guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Veronbo. Today I have a, another Sims 4 speed build that I am super excited about. Full warning though, the one that I have built that is in the gallery as of right now has a lot of custom content. I cracked and I decided to download a bunch of it and I filled this house with it. <laughs> so what I'm hoping to do is probably today or tomorrow is update this house with non-custom content so that if you don't want custom content in your game you don't have to download it or worry about replacing the custom content that's in the house the main idea for this house came off of where the dining room is going to be which is what i'm working on right there is like the octagon shaped room i have there's a house in town that has their dining room set up like that and I just really love it so I just basically the idea of this house just kind of centered around that one idea uh, so and this also my fiance Michael had given me an idea he was like I want you to do a parade of homes home which I don't know if I've talked about it on here or not but if you're not familiar with the parade of homes is certain towns throughout I believe the US participate at different times in the year it's for 10 days and from like 1 to 7 p.m. you can go tour houses that builders entered into basically a competition of builds. Um, and it's just really fun. It's something that we've always participated in. We've, uh, and by participate, I mean we go and view the houses. <laughs> we don't build them or anything like that. We just go and look at them. Some people go to get ideas for the house that they currently have, whether they're renovating or just for down the line whenever they do decide to renovate. Um, and some people just go, like we do, for fun, just just to see what it, what's going on out there. But so the, this house is essentially based off of one of the Parade of Homes homes that we have seen and that we go to quite often because we love it so much whenever it's just like an open house and not on the parade. <laughs> Obviously, I took some liberties, a lot of liberties in remaking it my own the only thing that really stayed the same was the dining room <laughs> so everything else is pretty much just from my own brain this house has a lot of space it has oh gosh I'm trying to remember how many bedrooms it has because I think it has six bedrooms one of them is an office but it can be converted into a bedroom if you want to go that route it has a dining room it has a kitchenette it has, um, the living room isn't huge, but it is a good size. It has a really good size kitchen. Um, if you can hear the barking, that's just my dog. I don't know what he's barking about. Um, it has a movie room. It has a very large, oversized, as I would say, laundry room with a craft area from the um, Nifty Knitting. It's still so hard to say that, Nifty Knitting. The Nifty Knitting Pack that just released recently. It also has a movie room downstairs in the basement. And it has like a little kitchenette downstairs. So uh, obviously I figured for the movie room, you'd want an area to make popcorn and things like that. Sorry, I think very realistically about my homes. I think a lot of people that enjoy the building aspect of The Sims would agree that that is something that they also do. <laughs> but anyways I really love this house the custom content I think just makes it that much better um, there's just there's certain things about custom content that the just gameplay can't produce that I want um, design wise style wise and things like that so I'm, I don't plan on building every house with custom content. That's not my goal. I want to make homes for you guys that you don't feel obligated to download custom content because I know that is kind of like a, not an iffy subject, but just not everyone is here for custom content. And I totally understand and appreciate that. So I just had to do it for this house specifically because I felt compelled to do it. I also, I'm getting, s bragging on myself a little bit, but I'm getting so much better at roofing in The Sims. I'm really proud of myself for it because you guys have seen some of my roofs and I've just struggled on them. It's just very hard for me to 
produce a good roof. <laughs> Even a decent roof in the sense I feel like. I feel like as, a, as long as it's covering the ceiling, I'm good. But I know that uh, there are some people out there that are just like professional roof installers in The Sims, and that's not me. So I'm really happy with how the roof in this house turned out. I know that's such a weird thing to be proud of, but I'm proud of it. Oh, this also has like a little butler area in between the dining room and the kitchen. I just, there was kind of a space there and I I didn't really know what I was going to do with it, but that's just kind of how it went. I figured in a real house, it could also probably just be like a walk-in pantry area. It doesn't necessarily have to continue to be connected to the dining room, but it does make sense, I guess. It also has a huge master closet. The master bedroom is also just a little, just a little bit too large. Um, but I had to make it that big for the roofing purposes, I believe. So I hope you guys like a very large master bedroom. You could fit several beds in that room if you want. <laughs> Sounds really weird, but do what you want. No judgment here. Um, it has, I also did not really like a mother-in-law's in mother -law suite, mother-in-law suite. There we go. I will get there. A mother-in-law suite upstairs. Um, I actually just turned it into like a teenager's bedroom was my idea with it. Uh, but it also could be like a live-in family member or whatever. The other thing with the basement, this again is just, if this house was a real life house in the real life world, the basement could also be like a, an extra living space. Um, there's a bathroom down there, there's room for a bedroom, there's a little kitchen. So realistically that could be turned into like a renter's space, especially with the door where the basement is at is like straight from the garage. So I'm just thinking in my head like that could be so that they don't have to, a renter doesn't have to go like all throughout your house to get to their living space. You could even add a door to the laundry room outside you wanted to to make that more even more realistic if you wanted to I was originally going to as you can see I'm changing it all now I was gonna do the doors and the kind of like the accents so the staircase and the doors and the archways like a dark brown color but just as I started putting this house together more and more I decided that that was not what I wanted it to look like it just looked too dated for what this house is so I changed all the doors and everything to gray and then the staircase is obviously white um, so the outside I also think I did a really good job on the outside you'll see I changed that door because it was too modern I was gonna go more modern on the outside just to match more specifically to that parade of homes home that I'm talking about um, but then I found these windows and I really liked them I liked them on the space and how they looked so I got rid of the modern door and I went with the door that's supposed to be more with the set that the windows came from. Although I still don't love that door. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, it does have a garage, obviously. I figured this would be a three-car garage. <laughs> Again, in the real world. I need to find another term to discuss the real world. I think that you guys get it at this point that I make my homes as realistic to me as possible. Um... But so yeah, so I added like a little garage, not a little garage, that's a pretty large garage area. So you can make that into whatever you want. You can edit it and uh, make it a gym, make it another bedroom, go balls to the walls, seven bedroom house, maybe even eight, I don't know, <laughs> just go wild. <laughs> Here I am working obviously on the roof. I skipped over a lot of the roofing just because I didn't think it was necessary and I did change it quite a bit as I was adding stuff to the upstairs and kind of fixing it to be what I needed it to be um, but it came together really nicely so yeah so I think most of the flooring I'm trying to remember if the wood floor that I put in this house for the most part is from a pack or if it's custom I want to say most of the flooring and all of the wallpaper is custom content and uh, most of the furniture also yeah let's say 
I would say 80% of this house is, at least 80% of this house has got some content. I really like this outdoor area too. Those curtains are not custom content, but what I did was just I blew them up and they fit perfectly in that space. So I was like, yes, this is meant to be. One of the things that I do wish I did because those slats that are around the outdoor fireplace are a little too modern, I feel like. I think I should have either covered them with vines or kind of hidden them. Hidden? Height? How do you accurately say that in English? I should have hidden them a little bit with the vine stuff so that it wouldn't look so out of place because I just think that they're too modern for the rest of this house but that's okay that's an easy fix if you want to fix that if you end up downloading this house or oh, whatever say lovey but I did add vines up here on the what would you call this like a porch area sure so it'd be a little bit more shaded whenever the sun decides to come out I'm also trying to like train my brain to like remember that real houses do not have windows just everywhere. Not every room needs a window. That's something that's really hard for me because I'm like, no, every room needs at least one window, including closets. So I think I did a good job of not going overboard on the windows. I think, I think there's a good amount of accuracy to the amount of windows that there are on this house. So there's the door that I ended up putting on the front, obviously. I just don't, I just don't love it. I don't know. I should have changed it, but sometimes I'm just like, it's already done. It's done. We just need to move on. But that's what I did. <laughs> this house is very cutesy, I feel like also. And I'm looking at like the timer on here. So this is this is probably going to be a fairly long video, like well over 30 minutes, like 35 probably. I don't know if the picture is added. I'm only like 12 minutes in. I feel like I have discussed this house to the fullest, and most of it was spent talking about the Parade of Homes, um, which this year we obviously didn't go to very many homes because of COVID. Um, and they were, we, it started off great. Like people wearing masks and I felt comfortable. And then we went to another part of town and people were not wearing masks. And I was like, oh, okay. It's like, this is not, not good, <laughs> but well, whatever. So we just didn't go to as many homes as we usually do. And also there weren't as many homes entered this year anyways, because of COVID of COVID, of the COVID, yeah. I realize that I say things usually three times in a row, like what I just did. I don't know why I do that. It's probably like a, an OCD thing. Like if I don't say it three times, something bad's gonna happen. I'm not making fun of OCD. I actually have OCD, so I, I know all about it. All the anxieties. I was looking up the other day, like, so obviously I have generalized anxiety disorder um, and separation anxiety and social anxiety, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> um, but there, I guess there's like six, was there six or seven main types of anxiety? And I just like went down the list and I was like, check, check, check. <laughs> so if you have a mental illness, if you have anxiety, I totally get it. I'm right there with you. I have it so bad <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, in interior wise I did like a yellow and blue theme I know what's new right <laughs> I never do those colors that light fixture was clearly custom content <laughs> pretty much the whole laundry room I think ends up being custom content except for like the washer and dryer and the craft area I love the floor though and the laundry room which is what we're looking at right now, which is why I'm talking about it. It's just so fun. And in homes, I feel like uh, newly built homes anymore, they have like fun tile in either the laundry room or like a smaller bathroom space. It's just so cute. I just love it so much. At some point, whenever Michael and I build our home, which feels like forever away, but we'll get there. I know that we'll get there. I'm putting it in the universe that I'm going to stop spending money 
and I'm going to start saving money. It's a really hard thing for me, but I can do it, especially because everybody is having sales right now, which I would really wish they'd stop it. Um, but yeah, we're going to get a house eventually and it's going to be okay. And we're going to get to pick out fun stuff like what I get to do in my Sims games, <laughs> which is another reason I do custom content because I'm like, oh, I would put this in my actual house. And the Sims, I don't know how to say it. Like EA doesn't give us a whole lot of options. I feel like they give us a lot of options, but none of them that I want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that big area is the garage. I love, love the wallpaper in the bathroom, in the hall bathroom. So much fun. It's a little oversized bathroom for only having a sink and a toilet, but that's what the space gave us. So that's what I did with it. There's that super large master bedroom. Oh, that's the closet. Yeah, you saw the closet start to come in. Oh, that's another thing that I can't wait for whenever I have my own house is right now I have no place to put my shoes. I We just have them stacked up. So currently we're living with my parents, if you don't already know that. And we have one of the bedrooms upstairs, but the closet to that bedroom is mostly Michael's stuff. And then I and my old bedroom have that closet utilized for my stuff. And we still don't have enough room. And I keep having to buy hangers because I keep buying more stuff. So if you pray or just want to help me, please, please keep me in your thoughts to stop spending money. It's a habit that I have formed that is bad and I don't know how to stop it. And I think one of the things is that whenever I get on Instagram, I see the like influencers or bloggers or however you want to refer to them. And I'm like, I need that. And then they post about sales on stuff that I want. And I'm like, now I definitely need it. And I can afford it just a little bit more. So one of the things that's going on right now, which some of you might hate me for, cause you're like, I have the same problem. And now you're talking about it. Nordstrom is having their, was it like anniversary sale or whatever, I guess that they do once a year. And I've never been a part of it. But this year I'm like, I need new boots. <laughs> I, I really don't, but I want them. They're on sale. And so I'm like, mm. so if you saw my poll on Instagram, I was asking about the over the knee boots, if they're still in style, which um, I think it's right now it's at like a 77% yes, that they still are. And so I'm like, okay, I think I might do it. I think I might buy a black pair. And my sister texted me and she was like, you have nowhere to wear those. Where are you gonna wear them? which I can wear them to work, right? Because I still work in the office. Um, but I'm like, you don't get it. <laughs> shoes, shoes always fit. If I gain weight, if I lose weight, the one thing that I will not lose is the size of my foot, most likely, right? And so I know that my shoes will always be there for me. <laughs> will always be there for me. That was like, so just like, dramatic <laughs> I'm sorry so silly but if you get it you get it I think we all have our vices um, for some people it's uh, purses for some people it's shoes for some people it's cars for some people it's guns whatever it is mine is shoes well and clothes but <laughs> mostly shoes um, and I keep thinking at some point I'm going to reach uh, um, an amount of shoes that I'm like, I don't need anymore at this point. <sighs> but then a company always releases a cute pair and I'm like, okay, but I need those. I need them on my feet right now. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. It's whatever. <laughs> So I did add a little hallway. Um, if you watched my live video that I streamed on Twitch for the first time ever, and I was pretty excited about it, I did that kind of in, an, in the other house with a little hallway like that to separate the master bedroom from the kitchen, living room, not the kitchen, living room, <laughs> same, same. And I just really liked that idea. And then this house, it worked just as well. So I did it again. Um, I'm, 
I'm trying not to do just the same thing over and over again, but does it matter? <laughs> At this point, does it matter? I don't know. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm slowly running out of things to talk about, but then things will pop into my head and I'll just start talking about those. Oh, our house is finally mostly done with like the, I, they're not renovations. So we had the leak and because of the leak, they had to replace the floors. Well, when they did the floors, they damaged the tile in the bathroom and they damaged the walls. So they had to repaint the walls and they're having to fix the tile. Luckily, we were able to find the same tile so they don't have to replace all of it. They just have to fix what they broke, which is sadly just like this little piece in the bathroom that cracked and like fell off. If you know what I mean, like tile breaks, you know what I mean? Breaks like anything else would break, Veronica. Stop being stupid. But so they're done with the floors. They've painted. They did the baseboards. The house looks so good right now, but we're still, we, they're having to do, I think a couple more things, like a little bit of touch-ups and um, fixing things that they damaged or whatever, little things. Um, but the house is kind of back to like a normalcy, <laughs> except for the living room is still like pretty much empty and our furniture is like pushed back into the kitchen. And so we're just waiting for them to finish up all of their stuff to move back to complete normalcy. <laughs> so if you've ever been there, now I have also, and I totally get it. That's one of the things whenever we were on the parade of homes that we were noticing about houses is like, where is the water heater located? And how likely is it that if something does happen to it, if it leaks or gets damaged or whatever, how close is it going to be to another room? And what room is it? There was one house that had it like out in the garage, but where it was in the garage was not directly along like any walls. And the garage was also on like a lower um, platform, if you wanna call it that. And so Michael and I were like, this is how you do a water heater. You don't put it in like the middle central area of the house to where if it leaks or busts or whatever, it's gonna damage a bunch of different rooms. <laughs> So it's, it's interesting whenever something happens to your home or whenever you hear other people talking about it, something happens to them in their home, things that you don't even think about that later you were like, man, I wish I had, um, I wish I had paid more attention to that. So water heater location is important. Um, I know there was this one house that we went to where the ceilings were really high. Like I don't not calculating footage but it was high and they had the air vent like in the middle of the room well if you need to switch the air vent you ha you have to get a ladder like you couldn't reach it from the upstairs walkway there's no way and so things like that to just like okay how easy is it going to be to get to this to replace it when and if i need to do that so that's really important. And then the other thing is, as I was, as I was looking at homes for someone else, um, they had mentioned like, ask how old the, not necessarily the appliances, but like the water heater and the roof and all of that stuff. And some of that may be common knowledge to you. It was not, it's not really common knowledge to me. And on one of the houses, the owner was actually having to be there. And he was like, I don't, I don't know how old that stuff is. And I'm like, how do you not know how old that stuff is? <laughs> Seems weird. You own the house, but it's whatever, whatever, whatever. So these are the rooms, that room, I would stop moving. The room at the top of the screen is like the mother-in-law suite that I was talking about. This other room is a cute kid's room. If you saw my live on Twitch, I did another purple room in that house. There's something about that purple that is just really nice. Um, and I do feel like EA tried to tie in some of the packs to that same kind of color scheme. Like with the nifty knitting, a lot of the colors are um, not really bright, but not really pastel kind of in that in-between area. And that purple color is a pretty seemingly popular color in that pack. But as you can tell, that toddler bed that's in that room, 
has purple on it and it's from the eco lifestyle pack so i think that they tried to connect them in a way like that so this is the basement this area over here that i'm working on right now is the movie room i <laughs> I figured this house was already so big, why not throw in a movie room also in the basement where light is not going to be infiltrating, I can say infiltrating, <laughs> coming in and like ruining the whole movie watching experience. So, and I did in The Sims 3, I liked that we had the platforms that were on, that were very short. You remember what I'm talking about? They were great for movie rooms because then you could put the couches at the back on another level and then have it like kind of as like slowly go down like a movie room should and usually is in the real world. <laughs> That's the little kitchenette down in the basement. Uh, there is going to be by the staircase where the other countertops are. There's going to be a microwave over there. Again, all of like that refrigerator and those countertops, I'm pretty sure are all custom content. There's a lot of custom content and I feel bad. I don't really know how to do in a way that would make you, let you all know exactly what I'm talking about. And also um, because I use so much of it, it's, I feel like it's hard to tag all of the different stuff and put a link down in the description. If you think that that's necessary, please let me know. Or if you're one of the people that created one of these custom content pieces, please let me know. I don't ever want to take credit for anything that I did not do. And I never want anyone to feel like, hey, I made that. And you should let people know that I made that. So I didn't make any of this custom content. I want to be clear about that too. I downloaded all of it from The Sims 4 resource. <laughs> like a professional would totally do. I think I tried to make custom content back in The Sims 3, but it did not work out well. For some reason, whenever I downloaded it into the game, it came in like really crappy. Like it wasn't clear at all. It was blurry and just not good. So props to people that can make custom content. I think it's incredible. I don't have the know-how or ability to do it. So thank you for making custom content for us that really love it and use it. This bedroom down here I figured would be like twins or an older kid and like a toddler. I, looking back now, realize that I probably should have put some toys in this room. It's very basic, very bland, very boring. And there's just, because it's all of those things, it, there's just not a lot going on. Um, and because it's a kid's room, maybe kids want toys, but, mm. There's also a maker space that you can see down in the be basement, not the bedroom, basement. I did the fabricator from Eco Lifestyle, and I think that other thing was either a wood workshop or the candle making station. I think it was the wood workshop, though, thing. That's not a part of Eco Lifestyle, but I don't know what it was a part of. So, um, I did, obviously, I'm doing some landscaping. This is kind of the end of the video. I think I put some furniture back outside in the backyard uh, like by the fireplace and stuff I think I put a couple couches I do a cute little hammock that's also custom content and a grill I didn't do a whole lot of trees this time I wanted it to be very like floral and just pretty without being blocked by a huge ass tree so I didn't do that <laughs> And it is about to wrap up and I'm going to be entering screenshots soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Say whatever you want to. Free space. I love reading the comments. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Veronbo3. I do go live on Twitch every now and then, but I do not have a regular schedule yet. But my username on there is... Veronbo or Veronbo3. I can never remember which is which on what platform, and I apologize. Either way, you're going to find me. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.